um, IAO Research Center started in 1972, and by 1973 we had begun the Library of Divine Sciences, Parapsychology, and the Healing Arts. Over the years that got shortened to the IAO Research Library of Divine Sciences and the Healing Arts. Now it's simply called the Star Center Library. But the library consists of about 20,000 books and magazines that have been put together by about 500 people who put all their books and materials and things they've studied through their life into the library so that other people could access it. And it represents a really special collection of mystical, spiritual um, books. And so many books are published and disappear, go into private collections, so it's hard to get access to good research material. So that's what the library represents. And Agnes Carmichael here on the side is one of our special angels donators. She's passed away now. Um, she was a Rosicrucian for 50 years. She's a medical doctor and a Kabbalistic scholar, and when she passed away, she left all her books for the library. And we have books like collections of Freemasons, books on different religions, yoga, mysticism, one of the largest UFO collections around. So it's a very amazing kind of library. And uh, I've been kind of the custodian of it for the last 20 some odd years. So in this room, we have mostly the magic, the Kabbalah, about 12 feet of Kabbalah, tarot cards, tarot, numerology, palmistry, um, Finnegas and Dali, Aleph Bailey, material in the theosophical works and theosophical materials. And as we come along, we go into um, all the different religions, the mysticisms of, oh, mysticism, Rudolf Steiner, Gurdjieff, Ospensky, um, Swedenberg, Manly Palmer Hall, then the Rosicrucian Mysteries, and then you have the m different religions of the world, the Bible, all the different versions of the Bible, different Christian sects and groups. And then it comes into the Encyclopedia of Religion, and each of Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, uh, Sufism, Islam, all the different saints and mystics and their writings and teachings. Then you have the Buddhistic traditions, it, the Mahayana, the Zen, the Tibetan Buddhism, and then you have the Chinese Confucianism, and Taoism, and the martial art books and Tai Chi books. And um, then we have, as we come on this wall, we have most of the here, some of the astrology manuals and calculations and healing books. It's a little crowded up right now. And then here is the astrology and the astronomy collection, and my, I use it for my office. The, uh, collections around here are all from very old to very modern books on astrology and astronomy. So some of the most modern things on black holes and quasars and some of the really ancient books on stars on, on, on planets and prognostications from Babylon to China to India. And it's really a special collection. There's not many collections like this on the planet.